Rapid climate change is a big problem. Luckily, it's one we can tackle, but it will take the work of every nation on Earth, especially the ones with lots of power plants, cars, factories, and other things that use lots of energy. As you can see, China and the United States make most of the carbon dioxide. That means the leaders of those nations, along with the others, have a special responsibility to reduce carbon dioxide and keep the planet livable in the future. By now, you understand that having a planet with a stable climate means reducing the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere to 350 parts per million. So how do we get there? There are actually lots of solutions, and like a puzzle, when you put all the pieces together, they create the picture of a better future. Let's start with the biggest source of carbon dioxide, burning fossil fuels to create energy for homes, buildings, and factories. Instead of burning coal, oil, and gas to make energy, we can start using more sources of power that don't release carbon dioxide, things like solar and wind power. Our cars and trucks are another big source of carbon dioxide. Using vehicles that run on electricity and fuels that make less carbon dioxide is an important step. Investing in more public transportation, subways, trains, and buses would also reduce the amount of gasoline people burn. Another part of the puzzle is protecting our forests from being cut down so they can do their job of absorbing carbon dioxide. We can also design and improve our cars, homes, factories, and buildings so they don't use as much energy. This is called efficiency, and making things more efficient would take a huge chunk out of our energy use. All of these things require big changes, changes that leaders who care about the future can make happen. For example, governments can require that buildings and cars be more efficient. They can invest in university research that invents new batteries for electric cars. And they can make laws that make it easier and cheaper to use solar or wind energy, or ones that require preserving our forests. The great thing is that all of these changes can create awesome new jobs for people. Imagine yourself designing an electric car, or helping to build a super fast train, or working on a windmill far out at sea. A livable future is also an exciting one.